Welcome to another edition of Africa Sideways. My name's Big Six Simpson and we've got the brand new Mazda BT50 for you today. One of the first off the ship in South Africa and it is blinking. This is the 1.9 liter 4x2 with rear diff. Kind of the entry level model. And it goes all the way up to the 3 liter out of the Isuzu engine in here. So you got tried and tested Japanese technology and they got the Mazda styling. So it really is a match made in heaven. We're down in the garden route. Some of the best gravel roads in the world and we're going to be checking them out as long as, as well as seeing how this thing handles on tar. So catch a cold beer, enjoy the ride. messy in here but you can see quite a quite good leg room uh, you can fit three kids in the back no problem I must say well they got one USB here but no air vent so it does get a little bit hot in the in the back driver's position is a really nice place to be let's have a look very clean crisp Buttons and dials feel very, very well made. This feels like a sort of truck that's going to last 10, 15, 20 years easily. It is one of the most well made cabins I've seen in a while. Not the most technically advanced, but this is kind of, this is not the top of the range model. We'll be getting our hands on that in due course, but it really, you got your rear diff and your hill descent, which comes in handy. I think this is a six-speed automatic. One thing I must say is this key, or when you when you put the key in, it tends to your and you're getting out of the car quickly. Your your knee tends to it tends to hit the the key ring. So this one is quite a little bit bent, but. It's made a very good steel because it oh metal this is still working just fine. It does beep every time you put the key in, so it's a bit of a beep with this car, but I've seen a lot worse. Okay, let's see what the the screen's like here. Yeah. Quite small. You know, for such a big L C D screen. Would have been nice. You gotta put the, I don't know why you gotta put the language in. You should know what country you're in, but anyway. It loads up and you can play your music. Pretty good sound system. You can listen to a Ryan Dent, no problem. Banging interior, the air conditioning works really well. It's been a couple of hot days and it just, it's old school tech. It doesn't really have climate control, but it all works. And these buttons are old school, well made. They're not fit. Nothing here feels like it's gonna, like it's gonna break anytime soon, which is 
Um, good to see from a new truck, from a new car. A lot of these new cars have got a bit of built-in built obsolescence, but none of that to speak of here. Got various controls. Cruise control. Yeah, it's pretty bare bones on the dashboard here. Just kind of tells you what you need to know. Nothing really too fancy. Doesn't tell you. Yeah, it basically tells you how much gas you got, how hard it is on your revs. I mean, what more do you need to know? No running board on this truck, which makes the clearance stand out even more. Must be at least 230 volts of clearance here. So you're never going to be shy on that. Well, does it look under here? I'd expect it to look pretty solid. It doesn't look too much to go wrong there. Remember, this is our Suzu under the skin. Now it's just starting. Works for me. Made it down to Humtini Pass and the BT-50 is extremely planted on these gravel sections. Hasn't got out of shape once. Really impressed with the handling. And the 1.9 is perfect on, on gravel on tarts, a little bit underpowered on the highway for overtaking, but out here it just comes alive, ladies and gentlemen. Cuts a hell of a line on the Humtini Pass in the heart of the garden route. Does it get any better than this, ladies and gentlemen? Thomas Baines' finest work here. Yeah? truck really does get you places ladies and gentlemen the garden route and all of its splendor and the BT-50 just eats the stuff up best water in the business very impressed with the suspension on this car soaking up the bumps with a plumb and the bridge stones are doing equally well you got a 255 by 65 and a 17 so they put the right 
rims on you. I think 17 is a sweet spot these days with a bigger brake out of the Made it down to Rete Bos, ladies and gentlemen, and the Mazda is still venting. Not the most powerful truck in the world, but loves the tar, loves the gravel. Let's do some travel. But hey! One of the best kept secrets in town, and uh, Mazda BT50 has been in its element. Loves the gravel, loves the tar. In fact, it almost feels more planted on tar. They got the suspension rights on this thing. Granted, with a 1.9, it's a wee bit shy on overtaking power on the highway, but on the gravel, it's perfectly weighted power to weight ratio I would think that if you are planning to do serious towing get the 3 litre but when people said this is better than the Asuzu which is based off I kind of thought well how can it be better than the car it's based off but this is kind of a wee bit more refined engine noise is less it's the first thing the wife noticed when she got in the car you know, so those little touches are going to get get the housewives and the, the money who want to put a luxury interested in this thing. And it looks good from all angles, turns, heads. Get a tan on the back. It feels really, really, really well made. That I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen. Functional buttons are well made. It's got everything you need. This is really Mazda coming for the bucky market with this thing. So we got it here. Just outside Rater Boss. Tomorrow we shall see how it drives. I must say, I was driving um, this a main competition to this bucky the other week, and I noticed this looks a lot more professional. And all the hoses here are solid. You know, this looks like it's really built to last. Nice big battery on this. Air filter is nice and high, good for waiting depth.
bit dampening here. You don't get much engine noise at all, which is on the on the Isuzu is definitely noticeable.